Hello YouTube, Mr. Forks everyone. I uh, just wanted to say what I'm going to be doing. Um, just like I said, we're going through and doing some visual effects breakdowns for my um, newer short films. For my newest short film. Um, so, first special effect is creating this cool little sequence where um, Josh Forks, our actor, squashes a fly. Um, we did actually squash a fly, and we did actually have a fly. And um, what we did have was a little fake plastic one. Um, so, if we get started, no need to hang around. Um, here's our clip. Just gonna grab that into a new composition. And as you can see, the fly gets squashed. And um, this shot's only going to be about five seconds long. Let's bring it in. Now, the technique we're using here to um, create this effect is rotoscoping because what we want to do is put a, um, a gooey squash effect um, but under the thumb and the rope so it can be done quite simply and um, very basic form of rotoscoping and a good practice so the first thing I want to do is stabilize the shot because um, there's enough movement from the thumb already um, so hit stabilize motion um, do rotation as well and position these just like that it's a nice dark spot over here zoom in just there and that should be okay. Um, the arm comes up a bit high at one point, um, so I'm just going to push it right up to there. And make sure this tracking area, what it's looking for, is quite small. And then hit the analyze forward button, which is this button over here. And it's going to go through. And then we're going to press apply. Okay back in our composition here and we've got some stabilized motion we should notice that the fly should stay pretty still which is what we want um, close down the shot we're going to add a um, we're not going to add anything what we're going to do is scale the footage so that it doesn't overlap we got 109 seems to work um, basically what we're doing is, if you see, um, at, um, because the footage is moving around, because it's being stabilised, um, the footage is, uh, because it's moving around, um, there we were getting some black bars, um, you can see over here, so we're just going to set it to 109, and we don't have any black bars and the footage is clear enough that we don't need to add any sharpening which is good so the first thing I want to do is uh, duplicate the footage twice and we're going to rename the first one, hit enter, I'm going to call it thumb and rename the second one uh, rope because these are the two objects that come in front of the fly um, now I want him to squash about here because um, that's when it looks like he's going to squash and I'm going to add a new null object and I'm going to hit the alt and uh, the square looking bracket key don't know what that is um, just to let me know boom that's when he's squashing so I need to rotoscope from here onwards so let's um, start working on the thumb we're going to choose our thumb layer, grab the pen tool and draw around the thumb you want to give yourself enough points um, but not too few points and that will be fine and then we want to just go through and do the major movements so, so it, gets furthest away at that point um, you can grab our arrow tool oh 
before we start animating, we want to go back to our first frame. Press M for mask controls and animate the mask. Set a keyframe for the mask path. Um, just so that everything we do here is being recorded. Now, rotoscoping is not the most exciting technique in the world. If any of you have seen the new Adobe CS5, um, it is, it's got a new tool for rotoscoping and boy is it a time saver, it stops all of this. Um, I would basically just draw a line on over the thumb and it would rotoscope at every frame for me. Um, but this is still the industry technique until CS5 comes out clearly. Um, often done with Shake, I thought I'd do it for After Effects because um, it's a bit more popular um, since Shake's been discontinued and After Effects is available on both Mac and PC. So this is the last frame. And then if we just scrub it back, see if it's okay. It's mainly the um, end of the thumb we're worried about. Awesome. And we can do some fine tuning in a bit. Um, next, hit the F key, add some feathering. I'm going to add about um, 3 pixels, only because the thumb's actually pretty blurred anyway. Um, next thing, grab the rope and go back to the pen tool. We want to add kind of like a square looking thing around it. Don't worry about them, all them fine um, things coming off it. Um, so, next, hit V to go to our move tool. Go to frame. Actually, what frame will we on? Go to here. Um, Okay, right, so we've completed our selection. Hit M to set a keyframe. Okay, and with the move tool, we're just going to go through and animate the mask. Now, the idea of rotoscoping is you are separating all the major elements. And why would you want to do that? Well, you've got more control. Got lots of objects, you want to separate them into as many different objects as you can. Um, basically, so you can have stuff behind certain objects and not behind others, etc. We're going to feather this. Do this one only two pixels. There we go. And now, what we can do is when we grab our blood here. Yeah, Going to use this one from Andrew Kramer's um, Action Essentials 2. Um, line it up with our no object. Um, you can see it's now actually behind the thumb and the rope, which is just what we wanted. <laughs> but remember, we only rotate out the thumb, so 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 far over we can put it. Um, what we want to do is make it a 3D object. Now we're not going to be using 3D cameras or anything um, but basically it's so that we can um, give it the best match to the um, angle we're after. It's actually quite far away. Like that, just to create a bit of perspective. Um, like that, we can scale it a bit. Now, this is all a bit over the top if you think about it, just with the whole um, how much it is. Um, what you want to do, make sure you go and refine the thumb. Um, it needs to be a bit blurred because if you look how blurry everything else is at that distance, look at the thumb and try to match the blurriness with um, with that thumb. And we also may want to increase the feathering on the mask to compensate for the blurriness of that. Um, but you probably only want the shot to be about 4 seconds anyway. Yep, 
yeah, and as you can see, very quickly, we've created a nice looking effect. I'm not going to cover colour correcting because the idea of this tutorial was rotoscoping, um, but you might want to adjust the colour of the red. Um, they're all rather quite nice um, by default, but obviously it's a fly. It might not have red blood. That's up to you, whoever's making the film. Um, and yes, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for some more tutorials covering effects from my newest short film, Education for Leisure, which is due out in a month or two. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.